All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Top Line. It's your boy Chris, and uh, well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, I want to stop in real quick, man. Um, no, we talked about earlier about uh, Nick Nurse and and the Raptors deciding to let him go. Um, they're parting ways and moving forward. Um, and then I went and I sat down and I watched the uh, Masai Ujiri interview. Um, you know, press conference, whatever you want to call it, where he talked about some key things, man. Um, let me let me get this out the let me get this out the way right now. Masai want to win, though. It, it, it is what it is, and and he he want to win. He want to do it in a sustainable way, though, and and that's what I'm taking. He's not looking, and I'm gonna be honest with you. We listen. I may disagree, you may disagree, but he is not looking to microwave it. He want to win in a sustainable way where he can continue to to he can continue to win after win after win after win. He want to be a contender for for years to come. Um, now, Nick Nurse, they they they. they <laughs> <laughs> it got to a point where, and you can just tell. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I I think Nick Nurse, he was out. It, it, it was over. Like I felt like Masai really tried to massage the situation, and I think this year broke broke the camel's back. Um, one of the things that he they kept asking Nick Nurse that he was like, look, the decision's been made. You know what I'm saying? Like I want him. He like, come on, like stop asking me this, dog. I, the decision's been made. He's out. He's gone. He wished him the best, of course. Um. But at the same time, at the same time, you kind of tell he was over it. And this is what I want to say about Masai, Masai Ujiri, man. He is very aware of the NBA landscape. He knows the difference between the the the, the dominant eras versus now. He knows there's a window to win. Now, now he's not trying to microwave it. He's not trying to microwave it. But he he know that he can compete. There's no juggernaut teams like. Um, do anyone? And he said this. He said this. Do anyone know who got a clear idea who gonna win championship this year? No. That's why these NBA NBA um uh, playoffs are so damn interesting. Cause nobody knows who gonna win these. This is great, man. I I freaking love it right now. Would it be even more fun if the Rattles in? Of course. And he sees that. And and the thing is too. He said the same thing many of us said. Many of us said this. It don't look the same. They don't look like they're having fun. The the energy is not there. And I mean, everything that I've been saying and 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 others have been saying uh, when it comes to the Raptors is, you know what? It's like they have they 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 have a. It's like they start trending and they fall. They start trending up and they fall. It's like it it was almost inexplicable. Now I got I got I got to, but I got to talk to some people. And 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 I know I know. Listen, listen. Let me, let me be honest with you. I, don't, I ain't holding no punches on this. The people that are, are it's like a group now. And this is this is the thing that kills me. It's a group now. First it was Nick Nurse suck. And then Nick Nurse is gone. Instead of saying, okay, what's the direction forward? Now you got a group of people. Oh, it's the front office fault. The front office put together a horrible structure team. Hmm. You mean the same structure team that finished fourth in the East last year? That's that's that that same horribly structured team. Like we can't, you can't have it both ways. Cause you said that 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 the team was just structured so bad. But then last year you said, no, 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 everything. All they need is a center, bro. They got a center. They need a center. Well, they went out and got two. They they drafted Coloco and they brought in Yaka Purdy. And just FYI, Masai Ujiri is high on Yaka Purdy. Hell, I'm high on Yaka Purdy. Um, because I think he plays within this within the way that this system played. Um, now you bring in a new coach, new philosophy. We'll see how all that pans out. But I just think that the front office have done their part. Like I, I don't understand why people say the team is just built so bad. How? How they they play like <laughs> they they play great they, for the most part. This this season outlier, but they play great defense. Um, they play great defense a lot this time too. Um, but to me, and, and I'm just going to be honest, I felt like Nick Nurse Messi was just starting to fall on deaf ears. You just look in body language. You can look in play. You can look at players. And I'm going to tell you what I thought. And I, and again, I've been careful about putting out my raps of videos. I've been careful. I've been meticulous because I've been wanting to watch some things unfold. But I said it before. When Nick Nurse did not come out and clearly say, yeah, we're looking forward to next year. We're going to be, we're going to be here. We're going to be good. I'm, yeah. When he kind of when he threw anything other than that out, 
oh no, nah, we can't play. And I'm and, and and to me, I'm I'm with you. Either you with me or you against me. I don't need nobody. Listen, I don't need nobody straddling the fence with me. Either you with me or you're not. Either we we're gonna win together. If, if you think it's something else better out there for you, go ahead. Go right ahead, and I wish you nothing but the best. But you need to be fully invested in winning with this team. And for Nick Nurse to be on the fence like that, I think it really threw Masai off, along with some other things. But the one thing I noticed is that um, even though Masai, you know, he's he's him, all right? Like, let, 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 let's, let's not play around. He's him, all right? But he's a fan just like us. And when you hear him talk, he's literally saying the same thing the exact same thing that we're saying. He sees it. You know, he talked about the selfish play. Now, me, I was I felt like there's a, a stretch that's that Fred Van Fleet went through that was just absolutely ugh. Like it was just like, come on, bro. Like you ain't you ain't passing nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, and I don't know if that's what he alluded during the trade deadline, but he also said that um <clears throat> It's, it, it, this is not the Kobe Bryant, and this is his word. When you play Kobe, you know Kobe, Kobe coming to beat your ass. This is not the same era. So, for lack of a better term, there's no juggernaut. There's not that guy. You got who? Ain't no stopping him. Contain him, but you ain't really gonna stop him. Um. And 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 lastly, you can tell that. The, you could tell he's he's committed, but not. I, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna say if if I'm reading tea leaves and I could be 100 percent wrong, I don't think State of Fred is gonna be here next year. I don't think so, dog. I, it, it just didn't sound like it to me. And even with with with, with Freddie, with what he said, it didn't sound like he's gonna be there next year. Like it, it just it don't. But it's a major changes coming. Um, but I think what if they do bring in the coach, we'll talk about. I got a video I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put together about who should be the next coach because I got some surprising names. Y'all gonna be like, what? Well, ew, 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 Chris, no. And who should be a free agent? They should be targeting. I've said the name before. Y'all gonna be like, ew, ew. If you ever say that again, uh, ew. But, <laughs> at the, huh? Mm hmm. <laughs> See, she looked at me like I lost my mind. But, at the same time, I think that, but when bringing in a new coach, a new coach for one need to see what they got. You can't just bring in a new coach, bring in new people. And, whoa, whoa. Let that a new coach come in like, wait, I don't need you to make 100 changes. I got this guy, this guy, this guy just need to do this. This guy just need to do that. I need him doing this and boom, we off and running. May not need to be a bunch of changes. May not need to be a bunch of changes. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. We don't see, but it's going to be interesting, man. Um, I know I know. Uh, some people on board with this, some people not. I think it was a great move. Um, I, I can't say... I'm not gonna blame the front office because I just feel like ain't it the same squad that finished fourth last year? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and then and the vice versa, say, well, then they had Nick Nurse last year and they finished fourth, so how you lose your job? I don't know. But this is a decision that made in this fun, man. Uh, we'll see where they go. I don't know if they're gonna make a lot of changes, but I know this is about winning and winning now. So with that being said, guys, please like, come, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, you guys be great.